Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another episode of Unorthodox Blocks, and I am joined once again by Nano910. Hello everybody, my name is Nano. And today we are finally getting <laughs> around to building Ren's order at the uh, Aesthetical Emporium. We're going to start our terraforming job under the ocean here, and it should be really good fun. I've collected up uh, with Nano's help, a bunch of resources, and these are the resources that I died and lost, but certain members of the community, i.e. Remington, Fluff, and I believe, Nano, you're going to lose them in the water. Nano, they're dropping in the water. Nano. Oh my god, no, not my gravel, help. Anyway, yeah, I've collected up a bit, Remington's gifted me some sand, Fluff's gifted me some sand and gravel, stuff like that, all because I died to lag, and lost a lot of time's worth of work. But the plan is, me and Nano uh, are gonna build, first and foremost, a terraformed slope coming down from this stone brick height here that goes, starts off quite steep and ends up going shallower and shallower. So it starts off in a bit of a cliff face, but then it turns into a bit of a shallow hill that is starting very sandy and then moves much more towards the gravel. But the first thing we're gonna do is lay out sort of the shape of the slope with uh, some stone and some like cobblestone and blocks that aren't gonna be seen, more scaffolding blocks, uh, for us then to place the gravel and sand on top of. And it's just an idea of how we can get this cliff face to look. So yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna start work on this and once some progress has been made, I'll get back with you with what's been happening. <laughs> okay, so Rem's joined us in the call because- No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> Rem's not joined us in the call. Um, uh, whilst me and Nano have made a bit of progress building this slope around, I'm going around with a stone and sort of laying out the base of the slope because me and Nano both agree that I'm better at the general shaping of terraforming and Nano's good at the details. That's not exactly what I said, but if you... I mean, oh it's God. what you meant, Toby. Nano. Yeah, no, it's not... Oh, God, Toby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway... I built the mountain recently, so I took hold of the terraforming bits. And then Nano's following on with the sand and gravel and mixing in a good ratio of that. And we're just going to continue this basically all the way round until we finish that. And then we're going to come back and add in some like brine rivers, some cool caves and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty cool. And I'll catch you back once we have made a bit more progress. Okay, so we're approaching the final stretch of the cliff side that we're doing. This one should be very, very easy because it's quite shallow over this side. But if we somehow take off which we're struggling to do uh, and we go around we can see that the cliff is going all the way around we got Rem here building up the walls of his base whilst Nano is coming in around the back doing the sand this goes all the way around the other side um, as a big bank and we're gonna get the gravel and the sand in um, all the way around and then we've got to start work on adding in some brine rivers uh, clumps of seagrass and stuff like that which is the thing we're gonna do next so once we've started doing that I'm going to get back with you because I've got some really, really cool ideas that hopefully Rem will like. And in fact, there is a brine river over the other side, uh, one that Rem built, a brine pond, which is looking pretty nice because we've incorporated it into the cliffside. I think, I believe anyway, it's over... Yeah, here it is. So if we go down here and wait for the conduit to kick in, we can see that we've got a uh, pre-made brine pond here where we've just sort of left a cave arch and we're going to terraform that back and make it look really, really nice. But this is the sort of thing I mean by a brine river or brine pond. So we're going to uh, copy this sort of aesthetic of having lava, then different layers of glass and create some really deep chasms and rivers and uh, maybe even fill up this whole ravine with that sort of thing. Could be really, really cool. But yeah, if we kill you. So we, if we fill the bottom of that ravine up with lava and that sort of stuff and then put the glass on top uh, with a waterfall going well a brine fall going down to it that could look really cool but as for now i'm just going to finish off doing this cliff with nano and i will start working on the details okay so me and nano well mainly nano have come up with this idea of having these sort of volcanic rock structures here with the magma blocks below them mm. uh, that are made out of stone andesite mossy stone cobblestone walls that sort of thing and each of them are going to be surrounded by uh, pretty large clumps of seagrass and obviously yes. they're not going to be everywhere they're not uh, but they're going to be in different places and obviously with a different quantity of seagrass and all that we're thinking that maybe like the volcano is emitting some sort of mineral or something that's making this area be super fertile or something could be a cool idea yeah um and we're thinking that there's going to be a lot of volcanic activity around here because one thing rem wanted was a volcanic ridge to sort of cordon off 
the area of custom terrain to the, just the normal ocean. Um, yeah. So we're going to do that probably right at the end once we've got everything sorted out. Uh, sorted out as well. We're also thinking that this big plateau is going to be like a dormant volcano. Yeah. The so essentially we're in the caldera of volcano. Right? Pretty much, yeah. So we're making all these cool little rock formations. We should do Rem's thing of having campfires under signs. Oh yeah, uh, right. Smoke underwater as well. We can add that to the. Yeah, we can have both. I reckon. Yeah, I think that could be quite cool. But yeah, this is the general gist of things as it goes okay. so far. We're going to continue Get working down. on it, and we'll be back. So I am right now working on the bottom of the ravine where the brine river is going in. I'm just placing in all the glass, and yeah, I decided to level it out to about this level so that we can place the lava in all nicely. Uh, after we've done that, I've also found in one of Rem's chests some sponges that have gone out of my inventory. That's probably because I left them in the chest. But we will end up using them later down the line. And yeah, it should be good because once we have filled in all the glass, there'll be a one block sort of crawl space where we put all the lava. And obviously, you can't put lava in water, so I'll use. Uh, the sponges to get rid of all the water in that crawl space and then use a trap door to crawl in and place in all the lava. Hopefully not die in the process because that wouldn't be brilliant. But yeah, I'm just placing in all the glass right now and hopefully this should look really good. Because yeah, it's, it's not going to be a lot of work but it, hopefully the outcome is incredible. Okay, so guys, I have finished up this entire ravine's worth of green and yellow stained glass brine pool type madness and looking at it at night it just looks incredible it goes all the way up there all the way around and down there once we have more little brine streams coming between these areas of lit up area where we have campfires and volcanic vents all flowing into this big ravine it should be looking really really nice so I'm going to get back to work Nano is currently offline but uh, hopefully he'll get back soon and we can get back to work on this because this took so many stacks of glass so long but it looks so cool okay so I'm gonna take a break from this project for this episode because it is a big project and we're gonna keep coming back here every uh, every couple of episodes every episode or so to keep working on it but we've made quite a bit of good progress in today's uh, episode because yeah we've got a whole chunk of area pretty much done uh, so yeah, we got this ravine done, and yeah, I got some more of this like foliage area done. We added this uh, little river going over to under this pillar here, and just extended our sort of seagrass and rock formations all over here. And I also did this uh, ridge line here with the cave, added a little bit more of a rocky sort of bridge there, make making it look a bit more randomized and rocky underwater. I added in some sea pickles here and there just to uh, break up the seagrass a little bit, add them in. Looking at all kinds of cool and yeah I'm pretty happy with how this has gone so far but yeah as I said we're going to take a break from this for this episode because I want to get this episode out and I'm not going to make too much more progress without Nano being here because I know he's got some really cool ideas for this area so yeah we're going to leave this and we're going to move on to another project. Alright, so we're back over here in our area now. It's a little, been a little while since we've been over here because we've been working over at Remington's place uh, for this episode. But today, we are actually going to be finishing off this row of houses. And I don't know if you remember from the last episode, but before there were two houses here, as you can see by the lines in the grass. I've actually connected them into one uh, really big house. And it's because this here, as you can probably tell, is going to be a water mill. So we're going to be using this bit of the river here that's flowing uh, at the bottom of the waterfall. And we're going to be building a water mill because it's right next door to the bakery here. So I think it'd be a really good idea to do a water mill here. So obviously all the flowers made in here. Uh, and then it could be passed like, into the basement here, which still needs working on. I'll get to that at some point in the future. But for now, yeah, we need a... We need we need a water mill to grind up all the flour, uh, grind up all the wheat into flour to then be sold in the bakery, which we did last episode. I think, I think it was last episode we did the bakery. 
Uh, I'm getting muddled in which uh, order I'm recording the episodes. But anyway, my plan here is is to do a typical, obviously a base like we've done in all the other houses, keeping the style consistent. And I'm thinking the building materials we go for. I definitely want, I think, a dark oak roof would work really well on this building, framed by the brick and the spruce. But I'm thinking we do something similar to this build palette here. So we use the uh, uh, strip spruce wood logs. But I'm thinking instead of using the sandstone between them, I think I may go back to this uh, white terracotta with this pink sort of thing. Uh, with the strip spruce might look really quite nice. But I'll definitely have a play because it might end up looking very similar to this build. I could hybrid this build and this build and have the strip spruce but maybe the white concrete. But I'm still thinking white terracotta might be the plan. But yeah, so I think we're going to have, as far as the roof peaks go, we're going to have one uh, on this five block section, a big one, uh, like how this one is. Uh, and then we'll figure out the diagonal bit and I want to have one of the smaller ones on this three block bit. But yeah, I think that is going to be the way we do it. And obviously, it'll be the three block bit which has the water wheel on it. Uh, and this isn't going to go diagonal there. This is going to extend out into the water and along. Uh, because that's how obviously how we're going to have the water wheel in there. And I'll have to come up with some sort of design for that. I don't really know what that is going to be. But yeah, I'm going to make uh, some progress. Sort of get the framework of this house laid out like I usually do. And once we start working on the more intricate bits, which you haven't seen before, I'll get back with you. Okay, so the build is coming along really strangely. And what are you doing up there? That is not to say... What are you... <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, well, we're under siege right now. The command is up on the hill there. Jesus. Anyway, I haven't even noticed these guys. How long have you guys been here? How many of you are there? Oh, God, there's, there's a load of them. Anyway, this build has been coming along interestingly. Yeah, it's a bit different to the other builds we're building because it's so much bigger. Like, it's a proper, proper, like, difficult build to get, get right. But, yeah, I think we're getting somewhere at the minute. We've got the entranceway sort out. There's going to be a staircase up here to, like, a loft and then we got a bit of a storage area here where we might park a wagon sort of thing and yeah we're just sort of getting the uh shaping right now but that's a big plain wall we'll definitely do something with that once the wheel's in place but the wheel um yeah the wheel let's let's have a go because i don't really know how this is gonna go but i want something like the oak to contrast it Maybe like that because I want these spruce stairs in to be like the I guess the turbines of the Of the thing so we have one there and One upside down on the bottom of this fence But they are facing the wrong way Because that's not the direction of the water So we're actually wanting you there and if I can get round to it there there we go so if it was rotating it would come out the bottom of the water and with water logging it should be quite easy to make this look good but where's that stair gone I don't know it's gone so that means you this way should be there and there yeah, so it's filling up. See, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? And then that means these ones should be coming down to be scooped up. Like, um, so if they're like that, then they need to be rotated again. So this way around, right. I've also run out of rockets, so we're going to have to park all this, but if they were like that, right? And then these ones are like that. So now they should be correct. Yes, that is, that's actually looking really nice. And if we wax, um, not that. Say we wax some of these boys on the end. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like I like it. I'm liking how this looks. What are we thinking? I think that's a really nice watermill design. Um, I did. Yeah, it's very similar to a water wheel I've seen before. I can't remember where a uh, Minecraft one, but yeah, if uh, it just seems very familiar. But anyway, yeah, it's it works. It works really well, and we just need to get under here place in this one so I guess we have to not dig that out I guess that worked actually we need to just swim into it so we go down come on and on the way yes all right we got it and our slab back in there cool all right so that's looking good water wheel wise then on this side obviously we need to do some more work add back add these back in fix up how it's looking but anyway that's not what we're doing right now we'll finish this in a bit and maybe we could put like that on there as well just to add you know that little bit of something on there I think that looks quite good but yeah anyway with that being said this build is coming along pretty nicely um, yeah, I am struggling with one bit. I need some more rockets, really. But it's the roof around the back. So, I guess we could use this waterfall, actually. So, the the roof around here, I'm struggling with how to make it. Um, yeah. I don't want it to just be big and flat, but it might just have to be. And it is a big barn sort of warehouse thing. So, it's not going to have a chimney or anything, because obviously it's owned by this house here. Uh, but owned by the bakery. So I might just flatten this roof off into the cave and make it a big like warehouse uh, where it could house some sort of like food farm maybe maybe like a firework factory or something because I've run out of rockets but maybe this big building can harm some ha house some sort of farm there we go got that one out in the end but yeah I, I'm just gonna keep working on it and finish the exterior and start getting the detailing in. But, yeah, I need to fi finish that roof and then finish the exterior for the most part before uh, we finish the complete detailing and, like, path blocks and stuff like that. And, yeah, I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so the build is pretty much finished. We just need a few more finishing touches. But, yeah, it's looking absolutely incredible. I am so happy with how this build turned out. And I know I say that for every build I do in this area. That's because I wouldn't leave it without being happy with it but I think this is probably now my favorite build in the area just because it's so big so different and looking so so nice so yeah we've got the we've got the water wheel in here looking amazing imagine if that could move but yeah it just makes so much sense to have a water mill uh, grind up flour to then go into the bakery here perfect sense and it's so huge it's just going to be a big storage area so you come up these stairs into the interior we've got nothing on the interior so far that is the something i'm going to be working on in just a minute and then if you go down into the cellar here this is where again unfinished this is where the water wheel comes and i'm going to work on some sort of grinding table here but yeah if we come out the back here as well we've got a little bit of a pathway between the two buildings this is where i'm going to put some barrels which i should have here so Think of these like barrels of flour that are waiting to be used or something along those lines. So, yeah, just some nice barrels um, that have been passed through like from one to the other. I was considering having a like loading area up there, but this space is just too tight for that. So I think just a few barrels in there make this uh, back space a little. A little bit nicer and just complete it a bit more and then in here is where we'll have more of the um, large storage but anyway I'm gonna get working on the interior and the final details outside and then we should be ready to end off the episode okay guys so that is the water mill absolutely complete and oh my goodness am I happy with this build I'm so glad I took a break from Rem's project and came over here and built this because this is exactly ow, I'm in a bush exactly how I would have wanted it to turn out so we'll do a full 360 of this build so if we come up into the river which is the first thing we built in the very first episode 
as you can see we got the back area where we got a window looking up the river so this whole area of terraforming isn't wasted of course and then yeah just a bit of a plain back but that's fine because there's not a lot going on down here and then we come down here to where the actual water wheel itself is in the river this side of the house is looking absolutely phenomenal this view is so good coming around the front here we've got a lovely little uh, wagon here with some hay on it and we need to get some stables in here at some point where we can tie up a horse maybe a donkey so this can be like coming from some farm way over there that's coming to the town parked up and this is how obviously the hay gets here the wheat that get ground into flour gets here and under here we've got a bit of a storage area for that um, hay bales there those wheat blocks just so yeah just overhanging bit of a storage area a little bit overgrown and we've got this cellar here of course uh, just filled in this area here with a bit of tall grass we've got a berry bush growing up there the only one in fact in this whole area apart from hiding I think there's one a couple there hiding and there's a couple around the back of the houses but yeah if we come around here we are just looking absolutely fabulous but if we go into the build itself we go into this dingy storage room which I think is really cool so we got some of the hay over here on a big pallet maybe drying out from being left outside getting ready to be crushed down and taken into the cellar which we'll go to in a minute we got loads and loads of barrels full of flour and various other things that will be quite nice and up here we've just got a very little, little loft area with nothing in it apart from a bit of a lantern but that could be used for uh, more further storage and then if we come down over here into the cellar which is under these shelves here we go down here we got more storage we've got a bit more of a uh, clean storage area here where we have chests where perhaps they uh, store their tools for grinding down flour and here we've got the millstone where obviously that turns and imagine this is a gear which would turn this round and round you put your flour on there on this grindstone this big millstone the flour would obviously get grind off fall onto these bits and then you collect it up into these barrels that are ready to be shifted up into the storage area up here finally if we come out the back here we've just got a little in between sort of garden area which is looking absolutely fantastic and i think what it needs is just a little bit of bone meal up on these grass blocks up here so if we just uh, add that in a little bit there i think that just adds it finishes it up this area very very nicely uh, and connects it to the back door of the bakery where obviously this flour stored out here is going to be used to sell baking products so yeah i think we've done very well this episode i really like this build i think we've done an incredible job making it exactly how we would have wanted it and yeah that fits in so perfectly there and i can officially say that that town street side there is complete it's looking super nice and i'm ready to move on in the next episode perhaps with maybe maybe that corner there finally get that corner finished up and the whole perimeter of the base is done we just got this middle strip left to do but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i've been toby this has been an author blocks you have seen me do underwater terraforming at rem's place with nano and then move on to building this lovely lovely watermill so if you want more content like that please don't forget to like comment and most importantly subscribe so you don't miss a video and i will see you in the next episode